Karibu kwenye taarifa kamili inaitwa Loft Matambo tutangamane kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kwenye Twitter at Loft Matambo at KTN News tumia alama ya reli ya leo mashinani moja kwa moja sasa wacha tukupeleke katika jumba la ufungamano ambapo viongozi wa dini mbalimbali mbali, wanakutana ili kujadili hali ya kuabudu siku moja tu baada ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kulegeza masharti ya maeneo ya burudani na masaya kafi kutoka saa tatu hadi saa tano usiku moja kwa moja tuvuke kule all of us and especially the elderly because when we eat all of us remove our masks we plead that no food should be served at funerals the body five the body will be transferred straight to the place of the service six we must recover the meaning of the funeral as a prayer gathering and not a political status or public spectacle platform funerals must return to be funerals weddings phase two characteristics for weddings will be one all the current requirements for the guidelines of hard washing all sanitization stations in the compound sitting at 1.5 social distance and where possible temperature checks will still continue in force two the number of those attending is raised to 200 and three food is only served to the extended family we remind all kenyans that we are still in covid times we especially urge the religious leaders to continue to follow the guidelines strictly and encourage all our congregants to do so even when we continue to witness a total disregard especially amongst our political class we cannot get tired of giving good examples however on behalf of all religious leaders in this country we here as the interfaith council wish to appeal to you our dear political leaders that we should not gamble with the lives of kenyans please we ask you in this covid time please postpone your political public gatherings that put our people at risk because they gather without masks and without social distancing we need you to give us an example of compliance beyond wearing masks consider putting all your political gatherings on hold until we are fully out of the woods in this corona pandemic conclusion we know how the last six months have been filled with fears anxiety and sufferings we however also celebrate the great sense of solidarity we all have experienced we still need to work together and protect one another we as interfaith council urge you to continue praying fervently for an end to this pandemic let us also hold on to hope as god continues caring for us with hope we can rise from the various situations and praying together move towards the recovery from so many blows at the financial economic and family levels and forge once more a better future for our children may god continue to protect and guide our nation may we also be responsible for the lives of our brothers and sisters god bless you all thank you no you may need to correct one of the second page the page of uh...
Yes, we may take a... Na mtazamaji wanaendelea kuzungumza pale ni